Hello, hello, it's time for piano. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> how are you? Um, I'm happy because like you guys are the first ones to see that little, little intro thing that I made. <laughs> I'm sure I got some of the buttons mixed up, but that's okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm excited today because our Learn With Me for patrons only is a super fun song. It's so iconic um, in television. It's the Jeopardy theme, right? The song called Think, right? When they're coming up with their uh, um, answers uh, during the final round of Jeopardy. So I'm excited to do this one. Um, but before we get started, if you don't mind liking this one and commenting and letting me know how you feel about this lesson, that would be awesome. Another quick reminder, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. I know as a patron, you probably see this all the time and you're already subscribed, which is great, but just a little reminder. <laughs> Next, um, if you have not joined our Discord server, I recommend that, okay? That's where you can get that feedback based on your piano learning. That way you're not like completely left alone trying to figure things out on your own. I check Discord all the time to make sure that my learners are comfortable and they are learning um, and uh, progressing at a rate that works for them. So join us on Discord. <laughs> and of course the final thing, thank you. I just wanna say a big thank you. You are a patron and you are the reason why I can keep doing this. <laughs> I very much appreciate that dedication that you've made to me. Um, on a monthly basis um, to support the stuff that we're doing here, building our piano learning community, making piano lessons, expanding, right? Me getting new equipment. <laughs> All of that is because of you. So thank you so, so much. <laughs> All right, my friends. So let's get started. I have my music printed out. If you're looking for the music, it's in the patrons only folder on Google Drive or um, in the description of this video. Okay, I've printed it out. It's just a one page song. So we will get started. All right, so looking here, I'm going to uh, notice uh, several things here at the beginning here. Now, very first thing I see, two sharps in the key signature. Now, two sharps in the key signature are telling me that this is going to be a song in D major. Okay, I'm gonna play the very first uh, part here. All right, we're already at a D, right? And then we end, um, actually we have a key change in the middle of this song, so it's not actually gonna end in the same key signature. But we'll get to that, don't worry. The first two lines are in D major, so that's a good thing, all right? Now moving on, um, I noticed that the position is a little bit interesting here for the right hand. We are beginning with a finger three on A, okay? And it looks like going up, we reach a D, and then we go down to another D. So our right hand is sort of going to be stretching between the octave of those two Ds, okay? So make sure that you're aware of that. Um, I also see we're in 4-4 four, four time. So a very standard time signature going through and learning this piece, okay? Now there's some really fun articulation too, as you're well aware. There's some really cool staccatos in there. There's a little um, syncopation there with those eighth notes coming in early. It's gonna be really fun. So let's begin with the first two lines, just the right hand. Let's switch to piano view. All right, my friends. So we're here in piano view. And just like I mentioned before, we're actually gonna be beginning up here with a right hand finger three on A above middle C. Let's go through the first two lines very slowly. And I will say some note names so that way you are able to uh, keep up with me, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, play. A. D, low D, A, D, A, hold, let's put that thumb on A, A, D, F sharp, rest, E, D, C sharp, B, B flat, A, D, A, F sharp, G, A, D, rest. 
sharp, E, D. Good, and we're gonna stop there. <laughs> yeah, so it, it got me a little tripped up um, saying the note names while I was playing, only because um, the rhythm I had been doing it, or the tempo that I had been doing it before was a little bit quicker. So let's go through it once, once more. That way we're comfortable um, with those notes, okay? Let's try it again. Okay. So beginning up here with our A above middle C, finger three, okay? Now I may also pop in and write in some uh, finger numbers that make more sense for your hand. So that way it's not so confusing, okay? Let's give it a count off. One, two, ready, play. D. Good, thumb on A. F sharp. E, D, C sharp, B, B flat, A. grab your pencil, okay, because we're going to write in some finger numbers. Um, you notice there when we have that switch from finger three on your A to a finger one, give that a circle so you can remember that. They do that specifically so you can reach up with your pinky, finger five, up to that high F sharp, okay? Now I know it's an F sharp because it's in the key signature. <laughs> so if you need to draw in a sharp sign, you can go ahead and do that too. I write in all of my sharp signs. So that's that high F sharp. Then we have E, D, C sharp. So circle and draw in a sharp there. B, B flat, that's a finger three B flat. Give that a circle. And then starting at line two, we have A, right? Now on that A, the following one, we're gonna use a finger three, okay? After that, it says you're going to use your finger two on your low F sharp. Okay, there's another F sharp there. I didn't even draw that one in. That's probably why I got confused. So finger two on that F sharp, one on G, and then the rest of it's pretty straightforward. Now this, you cross your three over. Yeah, so I'll circle that one too. Okay. Let me flip to piano view so you can watch that just for fingers. I'm not going to say anything, but I want you to analyze those fingers, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, play. So that right there is the right hand for the first two lines, okay? Now let's move on and look at the left hand the first two lines, okay? We're still in D major, okay? So a quick anal uh, analysis looking here at our notes. I'm looking specifically for any F sharps or C sharps because that's what's in the key signature. I like to let myself know ahead of time that they're coming. The very first accidental I see is my F sharp. At measure five, this is the first measure of line two. So go ahead and draw a sharp sign in front of that F, okay? And then in the next measure, there's another F, an F sharp there as well. It's the second note. So draw an F sharp right there as well. Now in the third measure of the second line, there's also another F sharp. So if you need to draw that one in too, go ahead and do that. Okay. Now that I know that, let's talk a little bit about notation. <laughs> so I'm about to blow your mind. Have you ever seen a half note with a staccato? 
<laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> like you don't imagine a half note to be staccato. It's kind of strange. What they call this uh, staccatino, right? And th that dot over the half note basically divides it or subdivides it into four eighth notes. But you're going to play the first eighth note and keep the last three silent. Okay, so in essence, it's like a shortened half note. It's still the, the length of time of a half note, but it's going to be separated. Um, play the first beat and then lift, and then it comes in at the next time, okay? Let me demonstrate what that sounds like. It's a little weird, uh, but if you imagine your head, not necessarily a super sharp staccato, but uh, you depress it and then you lift it, and then you come into the next beat. Okay, let's let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so beginning here with the D. I am at low D, very close to that uh, bass clef C. We're here with our pinky. So let me demonstrate what that sounds like, okay? One, two, ready, play. Did you hear that? It's kind of weird. It's like you, you drop on it and then you lift. Drop, lift. Drop, lift. Okay? Drop, lift. Drop, lift. Drop, lift. Drop, lift. Okay? So let's go over those left hand notes now, okay? One, two, ready, play. D. G, A, D, B, E, A, F sharp, B, E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, A, A, D. Yeah, so you can hear the difference, right? between a true staccato on a quarter note versus the staccato on that half note, okay? It's like you're giving it that, that sound, right? But that's different from if it was a standard staccato. That would be like this, right? It's different. All right, very good. Now, let's play that left hand once more. That left hand itself, by itself, um, so you can really um, figure out how to make that difference between a quarter note staccato and a, a half note staccatino, okay? You can do this. It's just gonna take some really, really good active listening, okay? Let's give it a try. All right. Starting in with our low D, we have our pinky there. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. So as we're learning this and going through it, you're going to notice that these articulation uh, notations really matter, okay? It's just the way that the song is played, okay? Let's see if we can do hands together the first two lines. If you're not ready to play hands, hands together yet, that's fine. I'm going to play it nice and slowly so you can follow along in your music, okay? And then we're going to go to the key change. Ah, it's so fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting into position, there I am. Finger three, right hand on A, and finger five, pinky, left hand on my low D. Here we go. One, two, ready, play.
it. <laughs> Woohoo! Give yourself a little one second party because that was awesome. Okay. You're going to keep practicing that. Okay. But let's talk about the key change here. Okay. It's getting fun. So at the end of line two, you will see at the very, very end of that line, there's a thin uh, double bar line and then there's a flat sign. Well, that's actually telling us that we're going to be changing to the key of F major. Now I know it's F major because I see that that flat sign is on the B line. And if I'm thinking back to all of my keys, my major keys, the one that I know that has one flat in it is F major. So if we start on an F and we're following the formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, right? Whole, and then whole, whole, half, okay? Let me uh, talk about that major scale formula one more time while I play that, okay? F to G is a whole step, whole step, half step, then we have a whole step, whole step, whole step, up to a half step. See, it only has one flat. Very nice, F major. Now, we see this happening uh, through the last two lines of the song, okay? Now, articulation-wise, it looks like we are absolutely doing the same style as before, okay? You look and you see those staccatino in the left hand. We have um, staccatino all the way through that line three and even line four with some regular staccato as well. So be aware of that. In your right hand, you're following the same melodic pattern. It's just that the key is different, okay? So looking in here, I think we could probably attempt to do this. But before that, let's write in some B flats so we don't forget, okay? Right hand, I'm looking, looking, looking. I don't see any B flats in that third line. Let's move down to line four. Oh yes, okay. So there's one B flat in the first measure of line four, also known as measure 13. Go ahead and draw that in. There's not any in the second measure. And then in the third measure, I do see one. The final quarter note staccato, that is a B flat. And then that's it for the whole last line for the right hand. <laughs> we haven't done the left hand yet, but we will. Let's switch to piano view and play that right hand of the last two lines after the key change. We can do it. <laughs> All right. Looking there, let's see where our fingers are going to go this time. So I see a C above middle C. Now we're going to do that same pattern. You can use it, either use a finger three or a finger two. I like to use a finger two instead because I can reach it more easily down to that F. So we'll start there with the C. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. C, F, C, F. Good. Thumb on C. You notice that it does get a little tricky there. At the end of line three, where it has that high A, down to about the second measure of line four. I've put some brackets around that little section because I already know, I anticipate that being a part where we're gonna have to drill or like build a cupcake or a pizza or something. So we can uh, play it in repetition many times, drill it so we don't have any um, uh, difficulty in that section over a long period of time, okay? Let's play that part once more for the right hand after the key change, and then we're gonna switch to the left hand, okay? You got this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Excellent, ooh, I did picture in picture. Ooh, and I put Patreon exclusive, because that's the truth. So right hand, we're gonna be up here, C above middle C. I've stretched out my hand to reach that F octave, and we're going to play through that right hand again, okay? Here we go. One, 
two, ready, play. Finger change. Rest, rest, and there it is. Yeah, so you notice the first time I played it, I actually didn't do the rests correctly at the end of the song. So my apologies for that. Sometimes I get it wrong, y'all. <laughs> it happens. So keep that in mind with the quarter rests at the end of the song. That's sort of like the slowing down, you know, where the contestants have to quickly finish writing their answer. That's the part, okay? And they have to do it before the end of the song. All right, now let's switch to the left hand, see if we can learn that, okay? Let's draw in some B flats before we begin. Now looking here, F, D, G, C, A, D, G, C, A, D, G, C, oop, okay. I see the first B flat, all right? Looking at line four, measure three. The very first left hand note is a B flat. So write a flat sign in there, okay? And I'm gonna circle it. Now, continuing in that measure, I do see another B, okay? The final quarter note in that measure is also a B flat. So if you need to, draw in that flat sign so you know. And then finishing out the rest of the song, I don't see any more flats. So with that, I think we're good to go on the flats, okay? Let's play through the left hand now so we can really get a chance to um, see how it sounds with that staccatino, okay? We got this. <laughs> All right, good. So switching here, we have a finger four on our F in the bass clef, okay? And then it says reach down a finger five, down a third to your D, okay? Don't let that be alarming to you, okay? Let's count off. One, two, ready, play. F, D, G, C, A, D, G, C, A, D, G, G, A, B flat, C, rest, C, rest, F, C, F. And there it is. <laughs> That's actually fun. I like that part. After the key change, it always feels like a fun, um, exciting left hand. And that's not something that you say very often about the left hand. It's not that interesting typically, but I like the way it sort of like leads the melody there, right? It's a good supporting role, right? So, and they give supporting Oscars to supporting actors too. It's not just the lead. So uh, let's see here if we can play that left hand again, okay? You're doing great. You really, really are. This is a fun song and it's easy enough to be able to cut it in half, do the part before the key change and then the part after the key change. And you can feel good about doing both of those, okay? All right, let's try that left hand. Here we go. All right, starting there with my finger four on F in the left hand. Staccatino, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Let's work some magic here. We're gonna put our hands together now. Okay, 
again, you already know, if you're not ready to put hands together, that's fine. But I want to give you that um, satisfaction of being able to hear what it sounds like after that key change, hands together. I will keep it super slow so you can follow in your music, okay? When you're ready, you can probably go back and restart this section and play along with me either with the right hand or the left hand or maybe hands together if you're ready. All right, let's give it a try. All right, here we go. Starting at the beginning of line three. All right, here we go. Now hopefully I don't mess up. <laughs> here we go. One, two, ready, play. You can totally get this learned. It's not too tricky um, to, to really get in there. What's going to be the trickiest part is just making sure that you are accurate in your intervals, okay? There's a lot of fourths in here, um, and they're not necessarily the most natural, um, the most natural feeling intervals to play. So remember to just be very cognizant of making sure that your fingers are starting in the correct spot, and then that will help you a lot, okay? Now, let me see if I can play the whole thing for you now, okay? Are we ready? <laughs> Jot down your answers really fast. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, here is Think, the theme from Jeopardy. job today so have fun with this one okay I would love to hear like a thousand Jeopardy themes on discord from you guys it's gonna be great so get some good practice in thank you for watching this uh, video lesson um, and I can't wait to see you next time okay I'll see you on discord I'll see you on patreon and I'll see you on YouTube okay take care everyone